Honestly Say my name, say my name You acting kinda shady Lately, why the sudden change? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brittany, aka Brit Smiley, and today we are going to be doing a transformation video on a budget, like completely on a budget. Everything I got is from Walmart. The outfit, majority of it is from Walmart. Like I will be styling Walmart outfits to see if they're plus size friendly, to see if you can be in a bind and still find something at Walmart. Yes, my outfits, when you guys see them, they're not like completely out there or whatever, but they're still really cute outfits that I hope you guys will enjoy. I will be showing you how I make one of them. I got this idea from TikTok. So just keep on watching for the full transformation. So we already did the intro. You guys already know what this video is about, but I do want to leave y'all hanging with a 20 minute long video of just listening to my background music, even though my background music is pretty fly right now you know you know we don't keep looking for more finding more background songs that aren't copyrighted because you know we gotta make our queen in 2020 but basically i'm just gonna be talking shit while i'm doing this transformation for you guys so essentially with this i'm just using my conair flat iron from walmart it was 20 bucks at walmart it is this white and pink Flat iron, I, it's not my favorite flat iron, but it does get the job done. Um, and if you're looking for something on the budget, it's definitely a decent flat iron. You can do better than this one. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but I wouldn't necessarily say don't get it, you know? Um, it does the job when it comes to straightening hair, when it comes to like trying to curl, it doesn't really do much all the time. I don't know it just the hair just doesn't glide through it the way you'd want it to and so it doesn't look really good all the time but nonetheless the straightener is from Walmart and I do know Walmart has other straighteners that are better and this one just happens to be the one I have I'm taking my lot of body mousse and I'm just hot combing the top of my hair getting it nice and flat flat because the spray was definitely thrown in a drawer somewhere and uh hasn't been taken care of in a while <laughs> so I'm just going in, trying to get this look as lost as possible. If you guys want to know how I fix my part and my closure, because um, I had definitely made this bald and it was wide and ugly. If you want to know how I fix it, let me know down in the comments and I will do an actual full video on it. I don't know if that's something you guys want to see, but I can show you how to finagle and finesse um, a bald enclosure with some cheapo products. But how are y'all doing during quarantine? I'm slowly but surely dying. I want to go outside. I miss the streets. But, you know, staying home saves lives. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> um, I'm just finishing up the hair. I just wanted to uh, get the tame the hair, really. I didn't really want to style it too much. I kind of soft waves, mainly straight, just to look like I did something. But necessarily, not necessarily anything crazy. I actually think I did pretty good. This is a um, closure from my Lisa Hair Company. Um, I think I did pretty good with it. I did end up cutting more of the lace like way after this video was done. So now it looks way better than it does in this video. So I'm sorry about that. I will be showing you guys how it looks in another video. Like, look how cute I look. That's all I can say. My skin has been flourishing these past couple of weeks. I've just been minding my business and doing me. And you can definitely see it in my skin don't let these boys stress you out anymore we aren't we aren't we aren't doing that okay we aren't doing that and i love to frame my face with like soft bangs whenever i do hair down the middle so i use my um i believe it's called like a thinner i don't i actually don't know i'm not a hair person but oh it just looks so cute i can't wait to for you guys to see the final look of this um like i said everything is from walmart well majority of everything is from walmart especially the makeup a lot of it is drugstore from walmart i have other videos where i talk about my drugstore makeup and whatnot if you want to see those videos definitely check them out they will be down in the bio in the description box below but let's move on to makeup so to start, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Poreless Primer. Everyone's been using this. You already know about this. It's going to diminish all, the, minimize all those pores, make you look flawless, filter ready. I love this primer and it's super cheap. 
super affordable. I did my brows off camera just because it takes me forever to do them um, when I film them and I usually don't like it how it looks when I film them. Um, I have a video on my channel already about how I do my brows so if you guys want to watch that definitely check it out. Taking the 16 hour camo concealer from e.l.f. I am just spot correcting like color correcting certain spots because I recently like tried to dermaplane my face and I went a little too harsh and actually cut my face a lot of places so I have a lot of dark marks from where the razor like kind of cut my face you can't see it too much because I'm so dark but I can see it up close so I'm just kind of trying to minimize that and make my skin look like one easy color if you guys see me like mouthing words in the background of this video it's because i was jamming out to my childhood playlist i recently created a playlist on apple music just like the perfect childhood playlist if you were born late 90s early 2000s like it, it's the best playlist ever i will try to link it down below <laughs> see like i was jamming i would um try to link it down below if i don't remember and you guys want it let me know um it's only on apple music because that's what i use and if you're not new to this channel you definitely know that i love using the maybelline superstay foundation in 480 if you are new to the channel welcome i hope you're willing to join the family by subscribing and turning on your post notifications as we grow this year um, but yeah, this is my favorite drugstore foundation right now. I love using it. I'm trying new techniques with my makeup, just trying to change it up, make it look more flawless and seamless and just improve my craft. I'm definitely not a makeup guru, but I am someone who can get by and do their makeup. So, yeah. I love this sponge that you see me using. It's the Sonia Cashing Sponge. I get it from Target. I don't believe Walmart sells it, but the foundation and the concealer are from Walmart. And I also will be using a Real Techniques brush later in this video. Not brush, um, sponge later in this video. So that's also something I use and it's from Walmart. So you don't necessarily have to get the Sonia Cashing Sponge from Target, but I would recommend it just because I love her sponges they're really good and they get really big when you wet them with water going back in with the 16 hour concealer i'm just starting to highlight my face i'm going to be using three highlighters today um it's definitely if you've watched that one video of that girl that went viral they called her catfish whatever but she just knew how to do her makeup real good she uses three concealers and it gives her the ultimate like highlighted look and that's what i was going for today i really wanted a snatched look i wanted to be beat to the gods in a sense while jamming out to my favorite music i do love filming tick um well i do love filming tiktoks but i do love filming chip chat get ready with me with for you guys but sometimes you just kind of want to listen to some music and vibe out and that's kind of what i was feeling that day as you can see i just lifted up my eye solution i get really bad watery eyes so i use visine before i do my makeup usually when i remember so that my eyes don't water so far i've seen an improvement where my eyes don't water as much i don't know if it's actually doing anything but i'm gonna go with the fact that i think it is <laughs> Next, going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I believe this is in the color Hazelnut. I'm just adding that second layer of concealer as we are going in with three this time. I'm going in with the highlight areas. Well, the parts that I want to highlight a lot, a lot. You know, my so center of my face, my nose, other things like that. I'm just taking my time and doing my makeup just because I want it to look really good. Like I was saying, I want to be snatched to the bones. And here I'm just taking my concealer a little bit higher up on my cheeks rather than lower because I feel like it raises my face up. Learn that on TikTok. Oh my gosh, follow me on TikTok. It's the same thing as my Instagram handle. So while you're lifting me up on TikTok, you might as well just slide over to my Instagram and follow me on Instagram. <laughs> you know. If you don't promote yourself, who will? I really feel like I was beating the crap out of my face when I was doing this. I don't know why it looks like that. I don't think I was, but it looks like I am. 
just know no faces were harmed in the making of this video some hearts were broken because the boys that were in my dms after i posted the picture i posted on instagram it was crazy but you know none of them can handle any of this so they ain't get none <laughs> but um this is the final concealer. I feel like I've been blending out concealer for forever in this video. But this is the third and final one. This is just the Maybelline Age Rewind thingy. You guys know what it is. Y'all have seen this. Jackie Anna uses this. Y'all know what it is. Y'all and if Jackie uses it, y'all real do know what it is. But I'm just once again going in in those highlighted spots, trying to get that real bright highlight. Obvious because I'm still going like. Brittany, relax. Hello. I know it comes out good, but come on, Brittany, relax. A little heavy handed, you know. Taking my airspun, this actually isn't airspun. I concocted a powder using the Maybelline. Fit. I use a lot of Maybelline. Maybelline sponsored me. Um, Maybelline fit me in deep 40, I believe, and mixed it with the banana powder from Makeup Revolution. And I put it in my airspun powder package. And now that's what I use to powder my face because it's the right amount of like dark but the right in the right undertone because I'm noticing I'm very yellow and when I use things that are super red it just doesn't look right so that's the concoction I made it might not make sense to you but it makes sense to me so yeah tell me why I'm filming this voiceover I want to um start singing my background music i was about to start singing uh nba young boy for y'all <laughs> even though we don't stand nba nba young boy in this house anymore just because you know he's doing a lot right now i just feel like he need to relax he need to calm down for me to start standing him again like I said, I was jamming. I was enjoying myself. I was having fun. I was just doing my makeup. It was just a nice moment to not look like a bum like I have been because quarantine has me looking like a bum, which is perfectly fine because ain't nothing else to do besides watch YouTube videos, which is why you're watching my YouTube video. So thank you for coming to the channel and watching my video. I appreciate you and I love you. Don't forget to leave me a comment. I read all of my comments and I generally heart all of my comments. Unless you're like a creepy guy, then I'm not going to heart the comment because that's just weird. But if you comment, I usually always reply back or I will always heart it so that you know that I saw it. And I appreciate it when you do comment because it definitely helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. YouTube doesn't really like me. It doesn't like to push my videos. But when you guys comment, it definitely does push my videos. So if you feel compelled to comment comment <laughs> but we're going in with my favorite contour palette the only contour palette that i use and it's the black radiance contour palette in dark to deep or deep to dark i never get the name right but it is my favorite contour palette it gets me snatched it keeps me chiseled and it gets this round baby face to look like a grown woman face and I know I'm not the only one who has a baby face, who would try to look grown, even though they are grown because they're 22. <sighs> but this helps me. So I don't have to try to act grown. Even though I am grown, y'all get what I mean though. If you have a baby face like me, this powder is definitely for you. If you have a dark face like me, this powder is definitely for you. I have put a good amount of people onto this powder. I love this powder. And it's only nine bucks, well, 10 bucks at Walmart and at Target. I'm like, I love it. I love it. I've fallen in love with doing my blush, and I realized for this video I did not have a drugstore blush. So I concocted one out of this palette that I have. I believe it's Makeup Revolution or Profusion. Um, I got it at Walmart. It's just a super big palette, which is quite a shock that I got it at Walmart actually, but it's a super big palette. It's super cheap. I think it was like 12 bucks and it comes with all those colors and I like to use it for simple looks. I just used it for blush as you guys saw and I'll later use it in the video for highlighter. So if you are in a bind on a budget and you don't want to get a whole bunch of stuff, you kind of want to be able to use something multiple, like have multiple uses out of one thing, I would recommend the Profusion palettes because they do work. 
not gonna lie, not gonna cap with you. They 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 work, you know. Doing my fake moles, kind of my new thing. I'm low key thinking about getting a mole tattooed on me. I don't know, I feel like it's a lot, but I think I look cute with few months. Going in with the sculpt color in my contour palette, I'm just brightening up my under eyes and making sure they are set and not going anywhere. This also brings back color if I lose out on color from the um, translucent powder. I'm lining my lips with a dark chocolate brown color and then I'm using my brunch me color from, from NYX, the Lip Suede Lipstick. I use this to create a very natural ombre look on my lips and it looks so, so pretty. But basically this is the end of the look. You guys are gonna see the transformation coming up soon. So I'm going to stop talking and let you guys just watch the rest of the video because I will be coming back and showing you guys the end product very, very, very soon. Okay, so um, this is the makeup look. Don't mind the hair, I had to fix it because I was like trying on different outfits. Um, but this is the look so far. I bought necklaces from Walmart, but I can't find them. So I just put these necklaces that I already had on, but just think of Walmart silver necklaces. I'll try to find them and put them right here. Um, but they were so cute. I, they were only $4.88. Um, and then I got this shirt with this bra, this bra is from Walmart. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna back up. Um, but I've done this plenty of times. This is how I tuck in my shirt. So this is how I tuck in, um, I wear shirts like this. So this is a men's shirt from Walmart. It's so cute. It's just this black and white print on it. I think it's really cute. I was gonna do another outfit, but I kind of ruined it cutting it. I'll show it to you guys but it didn't go how I wanted. I'm gonna try and still finagle a picture out of it, but whatever. So I take this top, I take any button down, scrunch it up and I tie it, scrunch it up and I tie it. Cause I'm very boxy, like my shape is very boxy. I'm gonna tuck in the little end pieces, but my shape is very boxy. I'm gonna tie this. And the reason why I'm doing it so low is because I have this belt from Fashion Nova. Um, I bought it too small, so I'm gonna finagle it right now around my waist. I just tried it and it worked, so we're gonna try it again. Gives me bloody, because the belt is like squeezing us in, but this top is like so pretty. I'm really showing you guys up here because this is the Walmart part. This bra is a t-shirt bra. I got it in a 40D. I think it was like $7 and then this top was nine or $10. So this is it. I pair this with like black heels. And I fuck up the top. So cute. Look at that. Like this top is so, and it's so soft, so comfortable. And then obviously you guys know the makeup was all done. Um, and you guys already know that the makeup was all done using um, all my products, I love using drugstore products in my makeup looks because I'm not like rich or anything. I'm definitely not on the rich spectrum at all. But um, so I like to still look fine as hell on a budget. And this is definitely like a look on a budget. If you were wondering if Walmart has bras for bigger girls, like DC, and then this top is just a guy's top. One thing about Walmart, their guy section is definitely outdoing their girl section. Their guy section is like top notch, baby. Like it is top notch. 
Um, another thing is that that robe I was wearing in the video, I got it from Walmart. I will be showing it like the full set in a video coming up. So make sure to stick to that. Make sure to stay tuned for that video. It is going to be a plus size pampering video. Just um, some self care during this quarantine time. I know it's pretty hard to like feel beautiful when you're not actively like doing your makeup or your hair is not done or whatnot. So yeah, I definitely love filming this video for you guys. Um, I'm gonna insert right about now. Um, I'm gonna enter right about now the video of the other outfit that I had in mind for you guys. That one's more of a super chill, relaxed outfit. So I'm not really all that mad that it didn't work out just because it wasn't that deep for me. But yeah, here it is. And then, so this whole look cost me about 20 bucks, I think. Cause the necklaces were $5. Even though I'm not wearing them, I did buy them. Um, this shirt was $9 and then the bra was like seven, eight dollars. So Walmart got some good stuff. Don't be sleep on Walmart. People be sleep on Walmart and then they be missing out some good stuff, especially that guy section. That guy section, boy, that guy section has a lot of stuff. But if you guys want me to do more Walmart transformations, I can do some like strictly just in the women's section i can do full outfits because i'm definitely like picking up more pieces from walmart this is just what i found at my walmart today you know with quarantine they're not really trying to stock things in so there's not a lot right now but usually walmart has a lot of good stuff um i'm also in the process of redoing my room let me know if you guys want to see a full video of like my room my new room and how i'm setting it up and whatnot don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you made it all the way to the end of this video thank you for making it to the end of this video if you did i love you guys i love everybody who supports me i'm still holding out of the dream of 10k before the end of the year you never know what god can make happen if it doesn't happen i'm not going to be upset about it or anything i just love that i'm able to connect with you guys and just be on this platform and uh, let other plus size girls other dark skinned girls know that you're beautiful regardless of what society says and what other people say especially my plus size babies i know it's really hard out there right now for us um people are really coming down on being plus size and i i want to i want you to know that like you can make a look out of anything baby like don't let these people get you down wear what you want feel comfortable with what you want i will show my tits i will show my rolls and i will not care okay like me. <laughs> Let me see if I can lower this a little bit. Like. So, I thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I think I'll be posting a picture of myself in this outfit if I get a good one. Um, I love you guys. And don't forget to stay beautiful, my loves.